You know, no one wants to be sold anything. They really don't. They really don't want to be sold anything. We get so many people trying to sell us things these days. You go into a shopping center and someone's putting hand cream on you and you know, you get people calling about investment opportunities and uh, you get text messages from Nigerian princes and you know, everyone's trying to sell you something these days. They, they, forcing it down your throat. They, they, they're, they're trying to make you take something you might not necessarily want to take. So how are you going to be different? If you're selling solar power and you're going out to someone's house or, or, or you're a wholesaler trying to sell it to your retail customers or whatever, how are you going to be different? Oh, you know, oh, Mrs. Jones, I've got some great deals on some solar panels. You want to, you want to get a sick deal, you know, 20 bucks away. It, it's the same crap. It's, it's, it's forcing a sale down the person's throat. And we don't want to be sold to anymore. I think we're sick of being sold to. People don't want to be sold. People don't, people don't even want to buy a product. They want, they've got a problem. They want you to solve the problem for them. It's as simple as that. They've got a problem. They want you to solve the problem for them. And solar power, now this is relevant to all industries, but in solar power, the problem is electricity prices, they're high. You know, the average person, let's say, Australia-wide, let's say the average bill is about 600 bucks now a quarter, you know. That's, uh, you know, let's say $2,500 or just slightly under a year. It's a lot of money just to keep the, you know, to keep the lights on. It's a lot of money. Now, none of us are going to be without electricity anytime soon because, you know, to be honest, uh, I don't know. I don't know about you, but, you know, The Bachelor. How are you going to watch The Bachelor if, you know, if, uh, if there's no electricity on sort of thing? So... Or, uh, or some of those other, you know, quality uh, reality TVs, shows. Electricity, we all want it, but the problem isn't solar power. You know, many, 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 many years ago, 20 years ago, um, when people were getting solar power and it was several thousand dollars a kilowatt, um, people getting uh, solar power, it was... The greenies, you know, as a person does their, you know, recycles their grey water and composts their own poo and, 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 I don't know, knits their own beanies. I don't know what they do, but that was a person. That was a person that was buying solar power. Solar power isn't like that anymore. You know, people just have electricity bills and they don't want the electricity bill. They just want to get rid of the electricity bill. It's as simple as that. So, you know, we, as much as we want to talk about global warming and, you know, saving the whales and massaging fish's backs and all that sort of stuff, it's not relevant to these people anymore. All they want to do is, is, is save power. Problem you're solving is you're saving them power. You've got to explain it in a way that they understand that, you know, the return on investment, if you're paying this much money, it'll save you this much a quarter, meaning that after, you know, 10, 12 quarters, you've paid your money back sort of thing. From then on, it's free electricity. You know, are you gonna be wanting electricity in three years? Because it's gonna be free once you've paid this system off with the savings. Solve the problem. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's a battery. What's the problem when someone comes to you and says, I want a battery system, you know? What problem do they actually have? Have they have they got 15 grand in their bank account? They just got no use for it and so they wanna buy a solar battery? No, you know, well, maybe, I don't know. Can I grab their phone number if they do? Um, but they have a problem. The problem for them is they want a battery because they want to do, have their own power storage at night. If there's a blackout, they want to know that they've got power there. If they're off in, uh, you know, caravanning in the Northern Territory, they want to know when the power goes off, the EPS or the UPS kicks in and they have power. You know, the freezer isn't going to, uh, going to melt and, uh, you know, wreck the ice cream. That's the problem. When you're selling something, you always gotta look for the problem, okay? No one wants to be sold, no one wants a battery system, no one wants a solar system, they got a problem. How are you gonna help them solve that problem? If you concentrate your sales on, on the problem instead of the product or instead of, you know, you sort of thing, then you make sales. People are more interested in themselves than they're interested in you. You know, as salespeople, we have a tendency to go, well, you know, look, I'm the greatest salesperson in real estate too. Unbelievable is, you know, number one salesperson in the Redlands. You know, who cares, man? You know, honestly, I have a problem. Help me solve that problem. I don't care what you're doing with your career. I don't care how proud your mum is of you, you know? So stop talking about us and start talking about them. What's your problem? What's your main motivation for, for wanting a solar power system? What's your main motivation for wanting this battery system? You know, 
Why do you want it? How can I help you, you know, with that, with that issue that you've got in your life? Asking questions about what the problem is, not saying, hey, what's your problem? You know, they might want to go fisticuffs. You gotta ask the questions, you know, try and find out what their main motivation is. Why are you in their house? Or why are you, um, you know, why are they talking to you over the phone, you know, about a uh, solar power system, a battery system, uh, whatever it might be. If you find out what their main motivation is, then you're gonna find out what the actual problem is. If you find out what the problem is, you can work out a solution to solve that problem. Solve problems. Don't sell them in it that if you go into something with the, with the idea of selling something to them, yeah, you got no hope. Solve your customers' problems.